Hey guys, it's John and Morgan with Long Haul Lifesavers, and today I'm going to be pushing the wall back in our underbelly, uh, like I said in a previous video, which we'll put right here, so stay tuned. First, we have to start by removing all of our crap. We've done the best we can with cable management. It's a little difficult. I mean, if I was to go through and turn all the power off and cut the wires and reroute them and all that kind of stuff, I could make it a little cleaner, but I don't have the time and really don't have the drive to do that right now because I don't really care. So cable management is done to the best of our abilities. Got everything cleaned up and now we're ready to start putting things back together. So originally the wall was about right here and now it's going to be pushed back about right here so what i was thinking was three feet it's actually like 14 inches so it's not a big deal but every little bit of space is nicely used what i'm going to do right now is hardwire in some led lights to go along here and along the other side because we're getting rid of the um, motion sensor lights they're not very bright to begin with and i think they're kind of annoying so uh, they don't light up anything well so we're going to get these wired in we're going to hardwire it into some of the wiring back here and then we'll put the walls up okay so we got all the wiring done we cut new boards got them put in uh, doing this we gained four more square feet now i know that doesn't sound like a lot but in an rv that's quite a bit. It was a lot of work, but we think it was worth it. So now we are going to string up the LED lights, get those all wired. We got them wired in behind, but with these you have to cut, solder, and splice. So I got to do that real quick and put all my tools back in. We also, um, a couple things that we did take out. This rig has the capability to put a TV in here. We don't ever use it. So I took off those plugs uh, to give me more space to hang things. And then we also took um, out the central vac section it's still in there everything's hooked up um, and all the vacuum tubes are still in there so if we got rid of this and someone else wanted to put the vacuum tubes back in they could always do that or if they wanted to put a TV in here all the connections are still back there behind there so if they wanted it they could put it in Okay guys, so last night it kind of ran a little long, our little project, um, and with quiet hours we had to stop. So today we went ahead and finished up all the organization and all that stuff and me mounting all my tools and stuff like that. We'll go ahead and take you outside and show you what the finished project looks like. You can see this white wall here, that's what we put in. And like I said, we gained about uh, two and a half feet out of this. And then this back section, it used to be angled, um, so now it's square and straight across but we got all the tools put back up and air compressor my bolt bin everything like that is put up and back together what we also did was added some led lights here and then we put the remote out here so now push the button and all the lights come on and they go all the way in the back um, so it makes it pretty bright in here uh, which is good because the little lights that we did have sucked so I've had a lot of people ask me why I put my tools where I do and I like to have my tools on the campsite and that's good for one major reason if I was to break down on the side of the road and you pull over onto the right hand shoulder your campsite is on the right hand shoulder so that way if you're getting into your tools your air compressor whatever you're not standing in traffic you're in the ditch so it's a little safer for me from what I feel now I've had some people say well it's better to have it on the other side so you can see traffic coming if they're gonna swerve into you yeah that may be but at least I have a little bit of a I have a 40 foot barrier between me and the traffic which I feel more comfortable with all right guys that's gonna be it for today's episode thanks for watching hope you got some good content out of this until next time don't forget to like share and subscribe and then head on over to Instagram and follow us at long haul lifesavers see you guys